In my apartment, the lights turn on, the internet's fast, and the door locks. There's food in the fridge, heat in the air, and electricity in the walls. I have a polite dentist I haven't seen in a year. I have a doctor, a government, and some money in the bank a few blocks from my building downtown in the city. I take it all for granted and sleep like a stone, unconscious of the pandemic, the protest, and the president. It's easier that way. I ignore it all in the morning, every morning. Yesterday was my birthday. September birthdays are a reminder the cold is close. People post HBD on my timeline or text rows of hearts with exclamation marks. Only my mother calls. On the news, they keep talking about going back to some kind of normal. Before the lockdown wasn't much different. Keystone, climate change, missing and murdered, street killing, police killing, more condos going up with the cost of living. There were still tents in the parks, just not so many. I'm mostly home alone and trying to make something of some kind of value, something that can be something to someone. Nobody calls the morning after a birthday. I don't know if making something can keep the lights on, fill a stomach, or save a life. It barely pays the rent. I'm not sure if making something would have stopped them smashing Seaview Church, stopped the internment, ended the residential schools, opened up the Roseland Theater, or docked the Komagatamaru. If making something could heal a pandemic, a protest, or a president. I don't know if making something can keep us warm, healthy, or safe. You say it's worth it to build something, to form something from nothing. I forget that some mornings. That's why I call you on my walks in the evening. Of course we need the nurses, the grocery workers who stock the shelves, the truck drivers. Of course, good politicians are important, and teachers, and bus drivers driving the street, of course. But what about this? Is this something? Why would I wake up for this? People wake up, and they go outside. They go outside while I'm in. They go outside while I stay, stock up, clean the countertops, bang on pots out the window in the evening. That mostly stopped with another rising wave. I have a doctor, a government, and some money in a bank a few blocks from my building downtown in the city. A polite dentist I haven't seen in a year. If what's valuable is what makes money, this can't be valuable. If what's essential is what saves lives, this isn't essential. What value do I have if I make this that neither makes money nor saves lives? I don't know. You say it's something. I forget sometimes. Each morning I wake up with this spinning in my head. Every morning. What if I followed it? Just follow it. Told myself it's essential. Something of value. Is it worth the same as a person who cuts hair? Who sells flowers? Would it be worth banging on pots? Would someone sing me happy birthday? We've lost places, presence, sense of belonging, intimacy, connection, esteem. Millions of lonely rooms with millions of glowing screens. My favorite restaurants are boarded or gone. The lines at the grocery, long. If we saw this as something, would it somehow be better? In my apartment, the lights turn on, the internet's fast, and the door locks. There's a pain that throbs at the back of my mouth. I have a polite dentist I haven't seen in a year. If I finished this, could it be essential? To someone? Would it be something? Would it be worth banging on pots? Would someone sing me happy birthday? Mm -hmm.